Hey guys, I'm back. In the last part, we unlocked Zhao Hou Yuan's level 10 weapon. And now, we're going to go unlock Zhang Liao's level 10 weapon. But keep in mind that this will be done in Legend Mode. So we cannot combine Dynasty Warriors 4 and Dynasty Warriors 4 Extreme Legends. Otherwise, we have to go to Musa Mode, Lu Bu's Musa Mode, and Act 1, the Alliance against Dong Zhuo, and get it that way. But uh, with that being said, let's get to it. Since we are getting Zhang Liao's level 10 weapon in Legend Mode, we have to go to his Legend Stage. So there we go, and I'll show off the fourth mall like always. Alright, here we go. So, we already know the narration, so I'll skip that. The special rules, there aren't any. That's fine by me. The equipment, the weapon, as you know. We have the blue, we're in a level 9. The items, I'll leave it like this. The bodyguards, since I'm allowed bodyguards, I'm going to have bodyguards. I'll have eight with the pike as the weapon. Just like last time. Or last time I had bodyguards. Anyway, the uh, objectives, all we have to do is defeat all Wu forces, officers. Pretty much everybody except for Sun Chuan. As I said right here. It's been a while, but anyways. Um... If I die, if her fake castle is taken, or if the time runs out, we lose. Unit info. For the wave forces, you have Zhang Liao, which is me. Li Tian, and Yui Jin. For the Wu forces, you have Sun Quan, Ling Tang, and Xu Sheng. Alright. Let's do it. So, in order to get Zhang Liao's level 10 weapon here in Legend Mode, you have to defeat the following Ling Tang, Xu Sheng, Gan Ning, and Lu Meng, all in under four and a half minutes. Just make sure you remember the main objective at hand, and every 50 KOs you get. Yui Jean's morale will increase, and need to make sure his morale actually stays high, that way her fake castle doesn't get taken. So, don't forget about that. Alright, Ling Tong is down. We'll go for Shushang. Well done. We're right behind you. I'm not that worried about the guard captains. Like I said before, um, the objective at hand is to defeat the four enemy generals in under four and a half minutes. So, while the time that Gan Ning actually appears, and now. Well, from now to the time that Gandhi actually appears, I'll rack up some KOs and I'll go straight for Gandhi. Once I get to 150, I'll head over to where Gandhing would be appearing, if that makes any sense. And uh, we'll go for Gandhing. He should be appearing shortly. Or now. Perfect timing. I think the only issue I have to really worry about, if anything, is Lu Meng. Because he does have that yellow aura, so to speak. If you want to call it that. Alright, let's make sure I actually can see where Gan Ning's attacking me. That way I can actually finish him off. Alright, Gan Ning is down. 
now let's bolt over to Lomong. I can't hear the bells anymore. Let's see how much time I have left. I think I actually have two minutes. Uh, a minute and forty to get to Lumung and defeat him. He's gonna come up towards the center, and he's gonna aim for the guard captains. So he'll be a little bit closer to me, which is actually a good thing. Hopefully, I can find a battle axe somewhere. Also note, the weapon will pop up after Zhoutai appears. But you need to make sure you defeat Lumong in a set period of time. Not by the time Zhoutai appears or before Zhoutai appears. Shit. Got him. With 45 seconds to spare. My lord, forgive me. 44, 45. Somewhere around there. Anyways. Now Zhoutai will appear. And then once he appears, the weapon will appear. Will pop up, saying that you obtained it. And there we go, the gold wyvern. Now we just gotta make sure we complete the stage without Sun Chuan taking over her fey. Also note, if you're trying to figure out, um, if you don't defeat Lumong, or everybody in that matter, um, in a quick fashion, then Zhoutai will eventually appear. But once you defeat everybody except uh, Sun Chuan and uh, Zhoutai, Zhoutai will automatically show up. So, when it comes to that infamous level 11 weapon, I'm not going to go into details about that just yet, but you know exactly what I'm referring to. Um, you don't have to worry about that as much, and you should be able to fulfill the requirements. Anyways, so all we have to do now is wait for Zhoutai to pop up here, and we'll be set. that, but you know what? I'm just gonna have to... Well, there we go. I think I got him, man. Yep. And that's a win. I'll tell you, that power rune becomes brutal. I mean, it really is effective. Anyways, the KO count is 431. We defeated everybody in the stage with the exception of Sun Chuan because we can't really get to him. I'm pretty sure there's some crazy glitch or something where you can actually can, but um, I'm not really a pro at that stuff, so I wouldn't know, but there probably is one out there because there always is something out there. <laughs> Anyways, uh, the points just, no, I was going to say just bear with me because it's going to be a lot. 7,508 points of clear time is 5 minutes and 50 seconds. The points really don't matter because the points are at max, as you can see. And there it is, the gold wyvern, level 10. In order to get it here, like I said before, all you have to do is defeat Ling Tong, Shu Shang, Gan Ning, and Lu Meng, all in under 4.5 minutes. 
Then once Zhou Tai appears, which is automatically after you defeat Lu Meng, well, if you're going in that order anyways, then uh, the weapon will appear after Zhou Tai appears. If it doesn't, then you probably took too much time, or it's not on hard mode or something, or expert. Anyways, if you're trying to get it in the original, all you have to do is play Lubu's Musa mode, Act 1. Play the battle of Sichui Gate and defeat Sun Qian, Sao Sao, and Liu Bei there. Complete the stage. It doesn't matter what you do after that, but just make sure you defeat all three of them. Then when you get to the Bao Hu Lao Gate, defeat all three of them again. But make sure you defeat them after the fire attack. So pretty much go straight for them and then let the fire attack happen. Because you gotta make sure you do that without defeating any other enemy officers, which also include Huang Gai, Guan Yu, and Xia Ho Dun, who appear right by you. And if they challenge you to a duel, most likely you should really decline it. That way, you won't mess up the weapon uh, requirements. Anyways, so that's how you get it there, and that's how you get it here. We'll move on. The bodyguards, they really kind of don't matter, but wow, they're still leveling up. Not that I'm complaining, but still. I mean, when I was trying to get bodyguard points in other areas, they just don't level up, but now they are. And I was playing the same stages, and I was getting the same amount of points over and over and over again, which is pretty much the points that you see there, minus the uh, 110 with the KO. So I find it strange, but anyways, I'm just saying, just blabbing at my thoughts. Our grade is an A, and I think that's the highest score for hard mode. We'll save, and there you have it. You've been watching my gaming adventures featuring Dynasty Warriors for, in some cases, Extreme Legends. Well, in this case, it really is Extreme Legends, and I'll see you in the next part, where we'll go unlock another level 10 weapon in Legend Mode, obviously, in the next level uh, 11. Not, we're not there yet. Uh, level 10 weapon we'll be getting in legend mode will be Simi's. So, peace out.